September 22nd, and we're so glad that you're here. I hope that you'll continue to read your daily devotion and, you know, just read it and just glean from it what you get from it. Amen. We're going to get right into our lesson today, and it comes from 2 Kings, the 12th chapter and the 15th verse, um, and it reads, the King James Version, it says, moreover, they reckon not with the men and to whose hand they delivered the money to be bestowed on working, but they dealt faithfully. Amen. And this is to be good, to be godly is to be good, Mark 3. And so if you have your lesson or your booklet out here, let's read along together and see what we can get from it. Amen. And it reads, in the Old Testament, when King Josiah repaired the temple, uh, we're told, the money brought into the temple was paid to the workers. They did not require an accounting for those to whom they gave the money to pay the workers because they acted with complete honesty. Uh, and because integrity was practiced, the nation of Israel prospered. James Madison, one of the America's founding father and a signatory to the Constitution wrote, the aim of every political constitution is and ought to be first to obtain uh, for rulers of men who possess most wisdom to discern and most virtue to pursue the common good of the society. And in the next place, uh, to take the most effectual precautions for keeping them victorious. Uh, is that right? Virtuous, virtuous. Uh, while as they continue to hold uh, their public trust. Nowadays, most surveys show that trust in our political and business leaders is at the lowest point on record. Yes, it is. We believe they have only two things in mind, to get rich and to stay in power. Amen, that's what they're trying to do. And sadly, good leaders receive the same broad brush stigma. So what should you do? Well, first, Pray for those in authority, amen. Prayer is a conduit, uh, conduit through which uh, God influence is brought to bear in any situation. If you believe that, you will pray, amen. Two, support godly leadership. The Bible says righteousness exalts, exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people, Proverbs 14, um, verse 34. Unless you get involved, you forfeit your right to complain. That's true. Amen. Uh, uh, number three, get personally involved. Edmund Burke is a tribute, a tribute with saying, all that is necessary for a triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. One person plus God can change things. So endeavors to be that person, endeavor to be that person. And so um, what do we get from this is that uh, the godly is to be good. Uh, but we know that um, and they were showing us here that when they were uh, rebuilding the temple that they could trust the men that they gave the money to. Uh, that's not the case in today because the greed of this world, pride of the world today, the pride of individuals and parties and things um, rule over uh, what's good for the, the people. And so we have this unbalanced society where we have the have and the have nots. And so we need to be in prayer, it says, uh, praying for those in authority. Uh, we need to be uh, support uh, godly leadership those who are um, uh, leading, uh, leading by the word of God and get to get personally involved, to let people know that, you know, we need to go God's way. We've tried it uh, man's way and we need to go God's way. And so um, that's what this tells me. It's more in there. And I'm sure if you gleam over it more, you'll find other things. Um, 
that you can attribute to uh, uh, to be godly and to be good. And so we need to have honesty in what we do and we need to trust in the Lord, amen? And so that's another uh, bit of devotion. We just thank you for joining us this week. It's been a blessing and we just ask that God continue to bless you. I'm Reverend Parker here at Union Baptist Church saying uh, uh, good night and God bless. Amen.